Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. A very warm morning to Dr. Azrina and our fellow classmates. We from Group One would like to present our interfacing project, which is titled as uh, Dice Game. We from Group One we would like to present about Dice Game. So the members of our group is uh, the group leader, who is Eric Sias Suwe. Uh, Hi guys. From electrical and electronic engineering, and me myself, the one who's presenting right now is Navin Kumar. I am same. I'm from electrical and electronics engineering also. And uh, based on the report, this is our table of content. Without wasting much time on this table of content, we'll just straight away move to the introduction part. So as I said before, our group is required to create a dice track, a dice di uh, game. The main objective uh, of this report is to create a program which uh, enables the user to uh, play the dice game. So the dice game works like for level one, uh, the user have to guess an input first, and then the dice will be rolled for uh, a time duration of five seconds. And then we'll come out with two outcomes. So based on the outcomes, um, we can uh, move to level two, where there will be another dice with uh, uh, it, it's a uh, dice which gives a range of one to ten. So far, okay, Eric. Yeah, nice. Okay, okay. So there will be another dice which gives a number range between one to ten. So in level two, uh, as in level one, the users are required to guess an, uh, an output before rolling the dice. Once the output has been guessed, the, rise, the, do, so the dice will be rolled and for five seconds and then the outcome will be produced. And then the sum and the outcomes will be displayed. The game will calculate the total cumulative dice value and also frequency of specific value, which is the sum of level one and sorry, the sum of level one, sum of level two and the guess input. Once we are done with level two, users will be given a choice in order to continue to level three or to, uh, to repeat level two. Eric, I just want to ask this. We can also end the game, right? Ah, yes. Okay. Uh, yes, we can end the game. Press the Q to end. <clears throat> okay. So once we are done with level two, the users will be given choices to move on to level three to, or to continue level two. Or if they prefer to end the game, they can press Q to end the whole game. So if the user chooses to move to level three, the outcome and this, sorry, level three, users will able to calculate the probability of specific sum to occur and tell the program to display actual data versus calculation data. When the probability distribution table had been displayed, officially the game ends. So as um, for the construction of the whole program for this dice game, uh, we used the knowledge from chapter one, which is about control character. For chapter two and three, it's about data type declaration, character, integer float, uh, ca string character, format specifier and so on. We also use user defined identifier. Should I mention all this or what, Eric? Uh, I think Is it no, necessary? Yeah, not necessary. So I, so I just finish off like uh, up to this. I just finish off like uh, as you can see in the table, these are the knowledge we used uh, from this course in order to construct the whole code. Is that uh, okay? Yeah. Yeah, it's OK. And you can, also, it, yeah, you can also skip this session. You can directly go to 1.2. Then I will, I will present for 1.2. Okay. Uh, after the 1.2, then I, I will share the screen for the Ubuntu. Okay. Yeah, sure. now, now you go to the 1.2. Okay. Uh, there are, there are three unique features of our program uh, that makes our program interesting and user friendly. The first is the first characteristic of our program is unresponsive response if the mouse input is not within the area. 
uh, meaning, meaning that uh, the user will not be able to enter the game if they didn't click, um, click the area skip your letter area using the mouse correctly so meaning that uh, if they click on the gray color zone then they were unable to enter the game so we use the concept of do how look uh, in this context so for the for the second for the second unique feature is alternative switch of label without this array for the second one is about all the information will be arranged in systematic way regardless of which label to start uh it's like if we start from level one then you will go to level two if we start from level two you will go to level one without cause the array to be distorted the the data will be arranged such that you will start from level one until level two well the first two elements is the dice one and a dice one and dice two for level one well, the last three element is the dice one, dice two, then dice three for level two. <coughs> for the third, for the third unique feature is uh, the color changing button. The that makes our that make our uh, game interesting. It's about uh, when you press the rotate button using the concept of GFS S position and Y position, then it can change the color to match make the user know the, the how to say the mouse is actually work is posit uh the game is posit to rotating the, the dice yeah the dice so the fourth one is indicative message that make the game user friendly and we have three uh situation under this indicative message the first is the dice rotating message um uh, graphic user interface uh, after you press the rotate button then you will come out the message of telling user that is rotating and show the dice value after five seconds and for b is user guess cor correctness it is about uh, tell the user the uh, how they hide the guess hide the guess is it correct or wrong guess or out of range for the last one is the instruction on continue you to the next level or quit the game so for this session is uh in the graphical user interface user are you required to press q to quit the game or press c or others other creator accept q to next level uh so for now I will demonstrate for the for the code execute the code how to run the code okay, can you see my screen hello yes Eric I can see your screen Okay, now here is my code and it's about one one thousand and four hundred line. And first we go to the power location CV SPI uh project and graphics. Uh, this is my file location. And we go we make before we copy this we make sure that we set the terminal always on top and we copy the Compiler program and pass it to compile it first and we run the program. As you can see, this is the main main menu of our game. It's dice design, innovate, communicate, and entertain. And both will by group one. So for now we uh for better understanding we enter our level one first. So press the level one and we enter the game. Uh, now we guess the sum of the result. So I enter enter any number ten. So it will rotate for five seconds, as you can see in the terminal. For five seconds, it says a uh, long guess supposed to be at but I type ten. So 
let me press the screen and go to the next level. Press C to the next level. And this is the level two. I bring the terminal out. Uh, you can visualize it properly. Then I enter the gas for tank again. I rotate. You, you see it can become red color. Uh, and that is the unique feature of our gas. Uh, we get a wrong gas again. And we press the GUI and press Q to quit level two. And for level two has ended. So here is the data analysis about the level two and level one. Uh, what can we know about? Uh, what can we know from the game? Uh, we can enter the choice one to see uh, out to us. We can enter two to check whether uh, to check the dice value we get from previous level. So you can see is six two one two four. It matches the level one and level two. The dice value we get is six two one two four. So uh, six occur one time. For two times, there is the frequency of our data. So, we due to the time constraint, we will not continue on the data analysis. Uh, as you can see, the level 3 is fully executed on the terminal. Uh, terminal is showing us the probability of getting the sum, the sum at M7. The uh, sum at is from the level 1, and sum 7 is from the level 2. and you can see this uh, is the theoretical versus uh, actual versus theoretical probability. And theoretically, the sum of x is 0 0.0925238. 0 but, so, but the actual is 0 0.047619. Because we uh, get it only one one time for for one for per round, one time per round, per round. And uh, basically, it, this is the end of our demo. If you have any question, then you can feel free to throw your question out on our Q&A session.